Greetings and salutations, my movie-loving friends. My name is Gilbert Yubara, and welcome back to The Attic Review. On today's episode of TAR, I'm taking you way back, back into time, to see what horrors await our ancestors in Out of Darkness. 45,000 years ago. God damn, that's a long time ago. And what a crappy time to be around, as we see a ragtag group of early humans in search of some grub and shelter. But instead, they find some eerie shit running around in the dark, and we all have no clue what the heck it is. Before we get really scared of whatever is lurking in the darkness, the movie brilliantly makes us feel what the survivors are feeling. Natural fears such as the panic of starvation and possibly being hunted. In the group, we have a pregnant gal, a bitchy old man, another young gal that the group refers to as a stray who has recently begun her monthly visits from Aunt Flo. And we also have the Alpha D-Bag Adam and his younger brother and son. And I'm gonna be honest, this group kinda sucks. There is pressure of keeping the group alive felt by Adam, but he's still a brute by nature we are finding out. And despite ensuring the group's safety, he is still power drunk by being the Alpha and the leader. One night, as he's almost a naughty boy, his son gets snatched by the darkness, and a nightmare ensues for this little mini-tribe. <laughs> this is not a good idea here, but Adam insists on going into the forest that everyone in the audience is screaming, Hey, don't go, don't go in there! You know, that kind of forest. So, it's no surprise at what's going to happen to the group. But I'm going to keep it a surprise for you. Let's just say... It's a lot of bad stuff, but again, I'm gonna keep it a surprise for you to enjoy. This film is a fun watch, but be advised, do not be angry with how the movie goes. Enjoy the scares, enjoy the atmosphere, and enjoy the storytelling. There is a lot of mystique, great scare buildups, a decent amount of jumps and gore, but be prepared for the movie's creativity. It is an amazing movie that I truly enjoyed, but I can see why horror fans can get upset by this. And I truly hope they don't because this is a unique vision that I think should be appreciated. Without giving too much away, I love the setting. Breathtaking scenery and elements, and that language that they were speaking was fascinating. The build-up in the first act was cool as far as establishing the natural fear of survival as well as mixing in the supernatural lore of the new land. There is an unsettling air of humans are the real monsters here when dealing with Adam and watching his behavior. Like I said, he's a brute, but that's a nice element to have as well as figuring out what's going boop in the night. Speaking of characters, there are some great ones and some infuriating ones that you are happy something awful happens to them when it happens to them. And you know what? I would expect that from any group of people facing starvation in any time frame. Out of Darkness works on two fronts here. It's a harrowing tale of survival, but also smoothly presents that supernatural threat that looms over our ancient kindred and gives us some more good fear. It feels authentic, and I think people watching it will not only get some good scares, but find themselves enjoying a damn good movie overall. And that's it for today's episode of Tar and how Out of Darkness quietly surprised me. Job well done, and I hope you get to catch it and enjoy it as much as I did. It has been an absolute pleasure. Please like, comment, share your thoughts, subscribe, and tell some friends. My name is Gilbert Yubara. Thank you so much for watching the Attic Review. Smile, Tiger.